I see already barbed wire uh, that was all along uh, the trench and we have some barbed wire left. Here is a bullet that was fired by a rifle. Right there uh, and you can see it was shot and hit something. Here is one more and this one was not shot. It's complete as you see and it's German. So Guillaume, we're standing in the front lines of where the 77th of New York National Army Division jumped off on September 26, 1918. Yes, exactly. In fact, that trench was dug by the French when the front line stabilized here uh, and then used by French and several Allied troops. But the very last one using this trench to jump off the line are the American soldiers from the 77th. And they're heading in this direction, which is north? Exactly, heading north, breaking through several German trenches to make their way through the forest. Of course, the no man's land we are facing now was almost without trees because they were damaged by all the war stabilizing for three years. But then as soon as they progressed several miles into the forest, they were in a deep forest, same as we see right now. And that's where the event of the Lost Battalion took place, around six miles north from us. All right, let's head to the Lost Battalion site. Yes, perfect. So you're looking at the memorial for the Lost Battalion. Uh, we moved a few miles north from our location when we were on the starting line. Uh, so 77th Division, uh, whose name is on the marker, they fought from the first day of the battle, uh, September the 26th, and slowly made their way, breaking through several German lines to finally end up to that position. So the 77th Division was what they called a National Army Division, which means it was made up of drafted troops and enlisted troops. And in this case, they were mostly out of the state of New York, many of them from New York City. They were in this area and a battalion, as they were noted later on, became cut off from the main body of the division. Meanwhile, the rest of the division can't reach them. On their flank are French troops. The Germans are firing down with machine guns and artillery, and the situation becomes perilous. 